first of all, thank you for coming in such a short notice because we figured out that we have to finish this class before my first game. So thank you for helping me for that. And I'm sure I'm speaking for my team as well and uh, Coach Hazen. So thank you for that and thank you for, for coming and thank you to Professor Riggs for coming as well. So my senior project is a one credit class for me. It was uh, because I needed one more class to fill out the credits needed for CIS classes. And the main idea on the beginning was that uh, I helped uh, Josh Eaton uh, with a networking rack. My part was the PC, I mean, like a hardware and PCs over there, so which was a cable management and KVM on the cable management as well. Uh, that was the first part of the project. Second part of the project I got introduced a couple days ago, which was uh, for Professor Riggs for his personal website, uh, which I'm going to talk more about later. And this senior project had two parts. And as I said, the main part was a website that it was uh, mocked up, introduced, and like uh, some designs already in templates made for. Uh, and we will we'll see where are we going to go after that. And idea after this is to some of the interns, interns to pick up this project where I left off and try to build a template after it so it, it, we can get that like a final stage where we can leave it into someone else's hands and so they can finish it up. So first part of the project, as I said, was networking rack and second part of it, it was added a couple of days ago was to uh, check and make sure that all of the ports in the uh, lab 110 and 111 of the party center were working and if they were not to fix them. And here is the networking rack after the after the cable management, ah, I'm so sorry, I didn't have time and I didn't have space, honestly, to take a picture before it was, but here is like how it set it up. So we have a router switch, router switch. Oops, oh, that's a test. Uh, router switch, which makes three, which makes three um, stations for uh, two students per station. So the six students can observe this station at the time. Down here is the KVM that is connected to three different PCs, and uh, additional PCs can be hooked up on this KVM. Uh, here is the patch panel. On this patch panel, we have all of the ports that are console ports, which means that uh, ports where we can uh, configure the switches or routers and uh, uh, do make the VLANs as well. They're all connected to this patch panel, so student doesn't have to go every time behind the rack and stretch and plug it back. So all of them are here on the switch and in the router. We pulled also two ports from the from the carry side, actually from our lab, so they have like a direct access to internet. And also I pulled the two cables here, so they they have that like also like in, in a s s short short space. Uh, that was the main part. Here is a, some more picture of the power cable management the, and just for the KVM management here. Um, okay, second part was the website pro proposal from Mr. Riggs. He, he introduced me with the idea of 20 miles, uh, 2,500 miles of art of culture in Missouri. The idea of this is pretty much to group people that are interested in art and cultures and to be probably one click from the from 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 their theater art exhibit so they can go up on the, this website and see the gallery or art 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 exhibit or theater somewhere next to them how he said uh, Missouri is divided in three pieces which like from north to south, and you, we, we would have like a north, central, and south, and south goes uh, down to Ozark Lakes, if I'm right. So 
if we would go to this website, we could find, uh, let's say we, we're looking for Hannibal. We're, we're, we're interested to coming in Hannibal and staying in Hannibal for, a, let's say, for an exhibit. We would go to this website. We will look for the, we will look for the ex art exhibit or theater. We, we, uh, and they, they would be on the website, which I'll, 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 sh I'll show later. And they also can look for the traveling information, how they can get there, and also maybe to take a tour of the Mark Twain's caves, maybe like downtown. So they would have like a many features on the one website. So if they already come to one place, if, if, I'm, if you want to just add something more, just feel free to stop me and just uh, add. So the, the idea, so they, they can come and see. So if we wanted, for example, to go to Fox Theater in St. Louis, we would also, we would go to this website, maybe book a ticket for the, for the Fox Theater and also go see an arch and some of the traveling agency, they would have a guide where, where, that could show us there. So the idea of that is, and this is also, this would be, for this website would be a non-profit organization, which would mean that a uh, website would feed off of uh, sponsorship and uh, money that are given to the website. And how they would be given, it would be advertising their art exhibits and advertising their plays and such and such. So th that's how and depends on the amount of the money that they would give to, to an art exhibit they, or for, for advertisement on the website, they, they would get paid. They would get paid and uh, if they give more money, donate more money, they would be on maybe main page and if they don't donate less, they would be on the side page where, where it's also like achievable. On a, I mean, uh, it's easy to reach but they wouldn't be like maybe on the home page. Another thing uh, was that we thought uh, is um, webs, uh, the logo, I made the logo and I made a little simple template which I'll show in a, in a little bit. So outline and the mock-up of the website, uh, it's, really, it's really similar to Iowa cultural uh, What's the corridor? So it looks like uh, we would have a logo here. Here would be the buttons for for and links for the rest of the pages. Here would be buttons for social medias and links of the 2,500 miles of arch of culture, uh, uh, art of culture. So here here we would have that uh, big slideshow. What are the upcoming events and what are the maybe some of the main events that even we want, want to move from our region, let's say, to maybe go to St. Louis and see a play or something like that. So here would, would be blog news. Blog news would would be something like that. That is, we would have a video and maybe short, maybe 30 seconds to 40 seconds video where we show a play on that blog and we would have like on the side description of that video and what, what's going to be sh shown. Here are the future events and here uh, featured events and here are the latest news and here we would put some uh, advertisement for the for the website so who would donate money and maybe friends and also I forgot to mention this would be also good uh, as Dr. Uh, Professor Rick said that um, we could introduce some churches and their camps over the summer during the year. So also people, as we saw, uh, how we have uh, here people that come over the summer and help uh, help the school paint the paint the school and help us. They also could travel and and find find some of the destinations on this website and also come and see and come and see the come see come see the play, help a little bit and. May, maybe maybe stay, stick around for, for a little bit longer. This is uh, how, how blog page would look like. So here would be YouTube video, here would be um, video description, uh, header and footer, they would probably stay the same just for the continuing, uh, to be in, like in a one piece so we can 
change this easy and people really get lost on the website. And here is the, here is the, another page that would be like probably like a regular page with the content, content here, content there, and maybe some other ad advertisement work. And we also can expand this and we can put as, put as much content as we want. Um, okay. So another thing that I did was the logo of the website. So this is 2,500 miles of art, of culture. And I put the little low, I mean, Missouri out, uh, outline border and just added some. I, I looked up a lot on the website and museum uh, websites, how, what the fonts they use, what are the colors. So that was probably like, Research was maybe one of the biggest parts that I did just because it was so much to learn about because we usually do something some IT websites but this was more historical so you can't put like a really aggressive colors you have to put some nice and calm colors and to have to have the definition that is it is not like a Schindler kitsch I don't know if you have those words they're like a new like fancy and stuff so they they would have to be like a simple and clear as well so I came up with this template which which we have here logo uh, all, of, all of this design was made in Illustrator which, which, which means that uh, it's vector based and we can stretch this as much as, as as we want so if someone wants to take over the project they, they would have all of this and this, all of this is included into uh, into a website. So here would be like a, that slideshow, how it would look like, description of the slideshow. Here would be advertisement, social medias, blog, feature, uh, featured events, and latest news. And again, we would also, we always could expand this. So we would, we would make header and footer this uh, be the floating up and down so this could stretch. And even if we want to put more news or less so that they would come back there. So that would be probably the home page and uh, this is how it would look like a blog page as I said. So uh, here it would be like the videos of the play that is going to be shown or maybe the, the art exhibit and here is the description and the advertisement again depends on the donations. So the business side of this is, this is probably the, now I'm probably more talking to Professor Riggs about this, will be that uh, size of the website, it really depends when it's built. So I, I, I can't tell you how much money it's going to take for hosting, but definitely CIS Lab couldn't do it. Just because main, maintenance of this website, it's really great idea and it's really big. So someone would have to be on constant maintenance for that site, if not daily, maybe at least weekly. And I don't think we have that like a, that much manpower to do and to be committed that much. So uh, we couldn't probably post that, but I talked to people, Jarek, and uh, he said that the Verbosity company in Quincy does that professionally and they, they, they said that GoDaddy is probably one of the cheapest and biggest and largest uh, host host companies and also uh, that I was recommended by Jerry was their rack space and uh, Verbosity company used the rack space and you, you can expand it and I, I think for this it's, it's very important to buy a host that you can always expand. Why? Because if your website expands you can expand your website and also the website would depends on the size and depends how large it's going to get. It's very important to have backups and backups can can take much more or, or less space. Depends again what what you want to to back it up on the on the website. Probably the main issue that I that I faced was that as you said people donating money, non-profit organization, it's really hard for security for for CIS students to do. So I, I, I would highly recommend to maybe hire third party 
the company or third party person that does that for full time job where they can just maybe attach their their piece of the website two hours if we would build that so so it would be really secure. Uh, um, I, I really think that this is going to grow so probably like thousands of dollars would go through that and that would be that would be really risky for someone who doesn't maybe who's doing this for first time to 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 risk that much so maybe what we could do is uh, as I proposed already to you was that uh, you can you can link this website to your PayPal account and have people send you money on the PayPal so that would be probably one of the safest way that we would possibly do but exchanging credit cards number and storing them in a database that would be that would be probably out of our reach most most of the times we could try but I, I would I wouldn't risk it for thousands of dollars it just uh, and I think I think that's it if you have any questions or if something was unclear, please let me know. Professor Riggs, any questions? Or? I think you pretty well captured everything we talked about. Um, and I appreciate the, the research you went into as far as um, the mechanics, you know, with, with PayPal, things like that, and the fact that, you know, security is a major concern. I really hadn't really thought of that. Yeah. so. That gives me some more food for thought. Um, other side of it, I, th I think you did a really good job capturing what we're trying to do, basically drilling down to the local level. So, you know, website, something like that, you know, Fabulous Fox has its, its own ability to get the word out, so that would be included at the same time places like HLG. We don't have we have a lot of good exhibits throughout the year hanging in our art gallery. From the, we have one just in December. And we have them throughout the year. When people don't know that unless they're going to the HLG website. Yeah. So this would sort of be a one-stop shop, and it would be. Yeah, know, this would be, be probably like the main tree of the of the branches that are coming to one website, which would show from the maybe one click you could see much whole probably whole, whole Missouri or at least your north, central, or south area. Of the, of, of the of the state, so I think I really think it's really good idea. It's just like it, it is. It, it's 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 massive. So I think like probably t t team of people would need to work on this. Not not only like on designing website, but as you said, like on the security side and maybe database. And depends if you want to include some some other web websites as as maybe like Fox Theater and they want to have their ad advertisement on your website so you would have to talk to them and like make the link between them how you would guys up update that or something like that so so th uh, for the for the template and for the designing website uh, i'm sure hlg students can do but and maybe from the building the from the framework and and looking something like this like really close and inputting this but linking with third parties that that, that would be just maybe more like a lawful uh, question for a lawyer or something just because donating money through some 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 like accounts that are maybe you look that they're sketchy let's say like you want to pay on the and give money to the website and you click for the to, 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 to give money and another pop-up window shows and instantly like in your mind you're like something's wrong here just because it's taking you to the another site a website where you have to put your credit card information or something so I think that that would have to be like really really secure just just so also again people trusting you that they can give you money and they're gonna be safe there Yes. You drew your mock-up and your template. Yes. You said you did it in Illustrator. I did it in uh, mock-up. I did it in Glyphy. Uh, we use that program in um, uh, web development, and 
My template I made in uh, Adobe Illustrator. I've had to watch a lot of tutorials and videos <laughs> to, to learn a little bit more about it. I did couple I did I did couple logos but this is nothing like like template because you have so many little details that they have to be there. And just for clarity, this template is not a working web page, is it? Yes. Yes, correct. It it's is a picture a of what it could look, look like. like. Exactly. Is that the norm in web design? Do people do this for in real life to yes, lay it out the, the first or is why? So in this particular case I would send this template from Illustrator to Professor Riggs and he would tell me, yeah, I don't like this black or I don't like this, I don't like this blue, I don't like this logo, I don't like this button. So instead of coding and typing, you can really, really fast make the, uh, like a picture of the template, how it's going to look like and send him back and he said, yeah, that's it. So the why people do that because they usually hire web developers to code for them but if you ask a web developer to code for you like five times over and over it will cost you much more money so it's much easier to have a final design and just give it to a programmer to program it and you you and he will just code it out and your customer will will be happy instead of